Okay, I was going to go to church today, and Lord, they kept me for two and a half hours. No, I'm not going to do that today. But I want to give you a very real word. And dog under the... Uh, the rappers in the house already shared the message, so I ain't got nothing. All right? All right? Was that awesome? Yeah. All right. That was you. All these, all these young folks up in this house, I'm considering washing away the grave, brother. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might just see me in youth, youth ministry. Man. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited for you, and I'm excited about what God's doing in you even if you cannot see it. I'm asking you today to pull back the natural and to look into the supernatural about what God's doing in your life. Okay? And I know that don't get you excited because most of our life, lives are spent looking down like this, doing this. <laughs> Come on. Can I get a witness up in this house? All right? Y'all just better tell it because some of y'all sitting in here in church doing it. All right? And I'm sure we send a praise text to Jesus. I'm hoping. You're preaching good. Come on. You know how I know you're doing it up in here? Because they're doing it in every church today. All right? Every church. Every age group. Don't blame it on the young people, y'all. Don't mess with me. That's right. Don't blame it on them. All right? All right, old folks up in there doing that too. All right, love and action. Let's just jump in here. If y'all don't mind. Those of you who have your Bibles and those of you who don't, look on with those of you who do. And we're going to go to 1 John in the third chapter, please. We're just going to dive right on in there. We're going to dive right on there. Man, I can't wait for that preacher that Candace was talking about to show up. I don't know who she's talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? It's like sometimes you hear people say so, you go, oh, Lord. Lord, I got a pot of chili on the stove at home. Lord, <laughs> it's like, oh my God, that might be the hottest thing going today. I don't know. Anyway, 1 John chapter 3, I'm going to ask you to rise as you are able, not in reverence to me or anybody in this house, but in reverence to the Word of God. The scriptures proclaim in 1 John chapter 3, in verse 18, it says, Dear children, let us not love with words or tongue, but with action and in truth. This then is how we know that we belong to the truth and how we set our hearts at rest in his presence whenever our hearts condemn us. For God is greater than our hearts. Turn to your neighbor and say, God, God is, greater is greater than your heart. Than your heart. God, is God is greater than our hearts. And guess what? God knows everything. Go ahead and tag that on there. God knows everything. All right, you may be seated. You may be seated. The good news is no secret to God. Scripture already told us God knows everything. So when we're looking at this particular theme and, and just learn that it's the theme for the whole year, love in action. All right, a lot of times we think about love in action, love in action. Okay, that means wearing the right clothes. Come on. Come on, wearing the right clothes. Wearing the right clothes, you got the right look, come on. You got the right shoes, you got the right slacks, you got the right look, and they got to hang just the right lowness. <laughs> come on. Come on, and then it's, that, and it's in that place where you got to feel like you got to drive the right car, or you got to be in the right place at the right time. We think that love and action is those things that attract love to us. Well, let me put some action on it, go on and get some. All right, love and action means I got to get out there and get me some. That's right. Okay, whatever that some might look like uh, for today. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, now. <laughs> love, look, what I see on Sunday may not be the same love I saw on Saturday night. Hello. Say so. Hello. Hello. Or Friday. Come on. Come on. The kind of love that we're talking about is a love that, that God speaks about in verse 14. It said, we know we pass from death to life because we loved our brothers. It says we pass from death to life, from death to life, from death to life, from death to life because we have loved our brothers. Now, I don't come up in here as somebody that has arrived, so please don't get it twisted. All right? Because you don't know the price of my praise. Come on, you don't know the price of my praise. You don't know what I've been through. Okay, and when you shared about pastor last night, God would not allow you to preach something 
and then which you have not lived. That's right. That's okay, right. and so I ain't bragging on the things that I've been through or how much stuff I sniffed up my nose or how many relationships I've been broken in or how much stuff partying I've ever done. I'm not going to talk about the, that today, but what I want you to hear is that there's a praise on my lips because I may not be where I want to be, but praise God I ain't where I was. you traveling with somebody today that ain't been somewhere. Because y'all looking like, oh, what's Grayhead going to tell us? <laughs> Come on. Man. Right? Right? You thinking, um, hmm, she sounds a little southern. She must have been from our neighborhood. <laughs> yes. Well. well. Yes, this is the right coast. Thank you, Jesus. But what I want you to know is that you've got to catch a vision of love. That's right. Love and action, you got to catch the vision. Now, what was it we learned from just that one little thing that, that Pastor Candace had preached on way back when or whatever? It was in that place that she said you got to see it before you can see it so you can see it. You know what we're talking about? You got to be able to see love in action before you can see it in action so that you can see it in action you got to catch a vision yeah. of love yeah. you got to catch a vision of love scripture tells us where there's no vision the people will perish I don't know about you but I've done some perishing love in my time oh don't tell me I'm the only one I'm the only one that ever had a heartbreak y'all better, better start preaching to me then anybody else in the house ever had your heart broken don't play with me The crumbling little pieces, they drop down into your gut. You can't eat, you can't sleep. Everybody you're looking at, every other couple you're looking at, and everything, every commercial about love gonna show up on TV. Your heart is broken. And don't even think about switching on the radio. Because every time, every song that comes through, and then you go into church and you're going, Oh, praise Jesus, I love you, I love you, and that person's face is. And then, then you're cleaning the house, okay? And every time you look around, there's a piece of that person left behind. And they ain't enough in dust. They ain't enough for breeze. They ain't enough. They ain't, they ain't enough shout to get out of here. Bro, okay, that's the kind of stuff I'm going to address today. And if you ain't ready to address it, then okay, we're going to address it anyhow. Because that kind of heartbreak, we walk around in that kind of stuff, and it causes us not to trust others. That's right. Sure ain't going to trust the one I left behind and ain't trusted for one ahead. Come on. It causes us to become hardened of heart. Okay, we build up these little bricks and layers around our heart. And it's like, you ain't going to get to it. Go ahead and try. You can look as fly as you want to, and you're looking good today. But it ain't going to pierce what I've been through. Okay, I ain't going to have, well, you, well, wait a minute, you're looking a little good. No, I ain't going to let it happen to me again. <laughs> right? And we talk ourselves into these things. I'm not going there anymore, because every time I go over there, I get into, I'm not going over there anymore. Okay, who got the keys? Right? Amen. We talk ourselves into things and out of things. And next thing you know, we're into something and the hurt that was caused in the relationship that was maybe three or four relationships ago, we have brought that compounded by that next one, 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 compounded by that next one. The next, next thing you know, we're showing up trying to praise the Lord out of a place that ain't got no love in it. That's right. a vision of love. We need to catch a vision of what we look like when we ain't afraid. Uh -huh. oh. We need to catch a vision of what we look like if we're not afraid to love. Because that is the thing that builds the wall. Okay? Be 